After losing Kirk Cousins to an Achilles injury against the Packers, the Vikings turned to rookie quarterback Jaron Hall to finish the game, and then now he will start against the Falcons this coming Sunday. And first of all, I just want to say that I'm really devastated for Kirk Cousins. He was playing so well this season and had things really turning around after kind of a slow start for the team and heading in the right direction before he got injured. He was a legit MVP candidate and looked poised to potentially make a run in the playoffs. So to see him suffer an injury like that is really tough. As far as Jaron Hall, he came in on Sunday and was 3 of 4 for 23 yards in the short time he played, though he did have a fumble deep in his own territory. I thought he played about as well as he could have coming in for his first ever NFL action in the fourth quarter of a game that was by no means over yet. And I also thought the fumble he had was not totally his fault, but more a coaching issue because why are you having a rookie quarterback in his first ever action drop back to pass deep in your own territory? Going into Sunday, Jaron said he is only focused on his preparation for this game and is not even thinking about what might happen afterward. The Vikings chose to trade for Josh Dobbs to get a little more experience in their quarterback room, but for now, it's Jaron Hall time. Hall said that he has texted with Kirk Cousins a little bit throughout the week and that he has given Jaron some really good advice. And I thought Jaron handled the media responsibilities very well. And he even had one of the reporters asking him why he was so calm. And if you haven't watched Hall before, the first thing that you will notice about him is his ability to make plays with his legs. The Vikings may not want him to put himself out there too much and risk getting injured, but if the opportunity presents itself, he is not afraid to take off and make a play. He has a baseball background, so you'll see a little bit of that in his throwing motion. I think the biggest thing for him is that he just needs to play within the structure of the offense and make smart decisions. The Vikings have a solid offense with some great weapons like Jordan Addison and TJ Hawkinson, and then obviously Justin Jefferson as well, but he is currently on IR. So I'm pretty curious to see how things are gonna go on Sunday, but if you watched him at all in preseason, he looked pretty good. In the third preseason game against the Cardinals, he made some really great throws and had a touchdown in a pretty impressive showing. So I'm not expecting him to come out and have a Will Levis type performance, but he can play. If he makes smart decisions and doesn't turn the ball over, I think the Vikings have a chance. And then we'll see how things go from there.